Many small businesses often need to collect lists of other businesses, customers, clients, or leads. Most of the time, this is done by contacting lead databases and purchasing their lists. There are wider, more generic services that provide these, or of course there are more targeted lead companies. For instance, let's say we're looking for lists of medical professionals. At usmeddata.com, I can come to their doctor database and find doctors in all kinds of different disciplines. I'll select the ones I'm interested in, select for this data to be throughout the U.S., and estimate the price. In this case, it's going to cost me over $9,000 to purchase these leads. Or, I can get these targeted leads for free through Google Places. For instance, I'll search for cardiologists in Los Angeles. And I can come here to More Places, and here I've got pages and pages of hits, which show up on the map one page at a time. So these are free, but obviously this would be very time-consuming to go through each of these websites one by one and comb through for the data that I'm looking for. So do I want to save money, or do I want to save time? Here's a way to do both, with our Google Places List Maker tool. Now let's quickly show you how this works. As you can see, we've got four items in this folder. We'll go ahead and open up the first tool, which will compile Google Places results for us. If it asks you to enable the content, you'll need to do that so that the tool can run. If we click on More Details here, we see it's asking us to enable macros and data connections, so we'll go ahead and do that. Now in order to be able to fetch data from Google Places, you'll need what's called an API key. There are a few steps to get this, but don't worry, Google issues these for free. You'll just need to visit console.developers.google.com and then log in with a Gmail account. Obviously, if you don't have a Gmail account yet, that's one last step you'll have to take. But they are free too, and once you have one, just log in with those credentials here. And you'll see their library of API keys. In the Maps API category, you'll want to expand the menu and select Google Places API Web Service. Then come to Credentials, Create Credentials, API Key. Now in my case, I've already created one, so it's issuing my key automatically. But for a first-time user, it will ask you to create a project name first. Just go ahead and do that, then you'll have your API key. Click this icon to copy it, then paste it into the tool. Now here in the Searches column, we can add any search term we like. For instance, let's look for cardiologists in Los Angeles. And let's also search for radiologists in San Diego. We can really have any number of search terms we like here. It's up to you, depending on your needs. You can have hundreds of search terms here if you like. There's no limit to how many it can process. We'll click Search Places. And within seconds, it will fetch the data according to our search terms. We'll click OK and see the results. And we've got a long list of names here. Now we'll go back to the Start tab, and we'll click Get Details. And it'll extract locations for all of those entries. We'll click OK when it's done, and it's automatically been saved for us. As we can see in the Output tab, it's fetched phone numbers, Google Map URLs that take us right to that listing, it's fetched websites, mailing addresses, and more. And over on the right here, it shows us which search term it found the information from. Now let's close this, and in the folder where we have the tool stored, you'll see that it's created a new folder called Files. Within that folder, we can find the data file we were just looking at. Now if this is all of the information you need, then you're done. But if you'd like to go a step further to gather email addresses for these entries, then we've got a few more steps for you to take in order to append your list. So let's go ahead and do that now. One of the best and cheapest tools to generate email addresses is at emailgrabber.net for $16.95. So you'll need to buy that, download the setup file, and install it on your computer. Then we'll open it up. We'll come to Q Manager. Select Browse, 
and will locate this second file that was saved for you. Again, here's our data file the tool just generated for us, but the tool also saved this other file for us to find email addresses. We'll select that file and click Extract. And it's going to take all of the website URLs and use those to extract email addresses. We'll click OK. And here under Levels Allowed, we'll select Zero, the starting website only. This is because we only want email addresses associated with the websites from the records we created. We don't want it generating email addresses from other websites that link to the original website. Then we'll select, for instance, a level of five pages per domain. This means it will start from the original website, then look within that website, however many levels you choose here. But it won't be generating email addresses from outside that website. Then, depending on how fast your internet connection is, you can select simultaneous searches here for faster results. My connection is quite good, so I'll select eight simultaneous searches. Then we'll click Start, and it should start working fairly quickly. All of the found emails will show up here. And here you can see a live calculation of how many emails it's finding per URL, a pretty good amount here. As you can see, this will save any small business a fortune. Instead of spending weeks compiling data, or instead of spending thousands and thousands of dollars on lead services, we can get all of this data for free and in just a few short minutes. You might be a CPA looking for potential contacts like dry cleaning services or plumbing companies, you name it. Just enter in your search terms for whatever area you'd like to search in, and these tools will compile orderly results very fast. Then once it's finished, we'll come here to Export, and export these emails as a CSV file. I'll navigate to that folder with my other data, and I'll name this file Email Address Results from Email Grabber, and Save. Then we'll open up the second tool to merge all of this data. Again, we'll enable the content. Then we'll browse for the generated emails. As well as our first data file. We'll click Process Results, and in an instant, it's done. We'll click OK, and in our Files folder, we have a new file automatically saved for us this export merged file. Let's open that up, and we see that we've got all of our initial data and the list has been appended with email addresses in a column on the right-hand side. In the event that multiple email addresses are found, we'll see those have been recorded as separate rows. So you might see duplicate information here, but that's just because there was more than one email address found on that website. And lastly, also included in this package for you is an index of 42,000 zip codes and cities. Of course, this tool works worldwide, but if you'd like to focus on specific places in the U.S., you can use this handy list to enter in a search term. For instance, plumbers. And then you can easily copy and paste these entries into the first tool we showed you for fast, targeted results. Just be sure to right-click and paste the values. And that's it. Quite a few steps to follow, but anyone can do it, and this will save thousands of dollars and countless hours. If you would like more tools, or would like us to custom tailor a tool to work with another website, just get in touch with us at easyexcelautomation.com, and we'd be happy to develop something for you.